Session, we are going to be reviewing the CXC treatment of syllabuses and the school based assessment for the administration of examinations in 2021. And we're going to be looking at the handbook, which is well published in the social domain. Might I say very quickly that this document does not belong to CSET Biology, the cover page, and as such, we are reviewing the article which is owned by the CXC. Our intent is to reach as many of our students who are doing the CSEC examination and to ensure that they are well prepared for the exam and the exam nor SBAs will meet them by surprise. So we are going to be looking at bits and pieces of the paper and of course we are going to be going through all those modifications for the exam SBA as are outlined in this document. So stay with me while we look at bits and pieces of this document and of course we ask that you place in the comment your views as they might be better than mine. The first important bit of information to share with you is that the modifications slash adjustments included in this document are proposed for the treatment of the school-based assessment SBA for candidates sitting the CSEC and CAPE examination in the May-June 2021 examination. And in some instances the may june 2022 of course these modifications slash adjustments represent the minimum might i emphasize the minimum agreed requirements for those candidates who are unable those candidates who are unable to complete the sba as defined in the individual syllabuses as a result of COVID-19. Now candidates who are able to complete the full SBA as outlined in the individual syllabus are encouraged to do so. Where activities are done online, this is piece that we need to look at, where activities are done online, our candidates either videotape themselves or videotaped the school should ensure that parental consent is received prior to executing sba activities using this method so here it is saying that they are making some adjustment to the format of examination sba so to speak for the may june 2021 exam and this might very well extend to may june 2022 but it's important here to know that the document is also saying that those persons who can cover the entire syllabus as would be it is advised that they do so now there are some cases where persons are going to be asking or might be asking students to do recording or teachers might be recording students Please be reminded that you must get consent before this undertaking. Make sure that you read this bit. Remember, you can pause the video and read and ensure that you're clear on this content. If you're not clear on the content, be sure to call the CSEC office for further advice. Let's look at the background for all these changes. Now, the CXC is saying that the global coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in an unprecedented crisis in all areas including health, travel, and education. As a result, large number of students are unable to attend school because of wide-scale closure mandated by regional government in an effort to contain the spread of a virus. In early 2020, there was massive closure of educational institutions across the Caribbean and face-to-face -face classes were abandoned in some countries. 
from as early as March. While most territories move swiftly to the online modality, the implementation of online teaching as a way to continue the engagement of students has presented its own set of challenges. So here we are seeing that the CXC is pretty much cognizant that there's a whole lot of challenge uh, being faced by students, parents, teachers, and the educational institution. So they are saying here that we understand, and as a result of us understanding the many challenges, we are reaching out and giving ample advice, amp giving ample time for us to digest this notice as to what they can do to better serve you in order for you to reach your milestone. They are saying here in this bulleted point, some of the problems that they have observed is that there are connectivity issues in a number of CXC participating territories. They are saying that there's a lack of access to device. Many persons don't have any electronic device, computer, tablet, cell phone. They are saying that there's low participation by students. And guess what? Many of the CXC participating territories are reporting participation rate as low as 20% for a number of schools. So the CXC is very much aware of what is happening. And I do hope that persons are following this document. I do hope that you will share this document that everybody can be in the know. Additionally, COVID-19 pandemic has caused severe disruption in the teaching learning process resulting in reduction or in a reduced instructional contact time as a result of a delayed start in the 2020-2021 academic year. In some instances, school resumed classes primarily online in October rather than the traditional September start of the academic year. So here the CXC is saying that, listen to me, we are human, we do understand, and while we understand, we can cut and pair and mix and match some places, but we will not be able to do it in all cases. Let us look at these two first paragraphs. It says, in relation to the call for a reduction in the syllabus coverage, the decision is that there will be no reduction in syllabus coverage for any of the products offered by the CXC. And the products offered by the CXC are the CC SLC, the CSEC examination, and the KIP examination. This is what they are saying. They say that the syllabus design for various levels are intended to provide a comprehensive coverage of requirements for candidates at that level. That is, the CC SLC syllabus represents a comprehensive coverage of requirements at the lower secondary level. Then they are saying that the CSEC represents a comprehensive coverage of the requirements at the upper secondary level at Cape. At the post-secondary level, uh, at the upper secondary level that was for CSEC, at Cape, it's a post-secondary level and the knowledge, skills, and abilities required at each level distinguish one level from the other. So what CXC is saying here based on my understanding, you can tell me if your interpretation is different. They are saying that, listen to me, we have three products here. And the three products are at different levels. Now, if you can't manage the level at which you think you should be covering, they might be suggesting here that you could probably go to another level. Or they could be suggesting that, listen to me, we cannot water down the CSEC exam because if we do water down the CSEC exam, we are going to end up having two CC SLC exam. And that is not what was intended. So there are different tiers, there are different levels, and probably they want persons to make use of the most suitable level for their competence at the time 
of the exam or probably at the time of publication if you are selecting the exam and you know you're not going to do well now i'm not going to be covering everything here but you can go and read the article i think the article is online it was sent to me i am just adding my little bit to it and to see how best i can help with the interpretation i help to get it out there that all students all parents will access the information wherever you are in the caribbean and of course be in the know like i continue to say remember the document is owned by the cxc so if you need clarity than i am trying to provide here it would be wise for you to contact the cxc regional office in whatever island caribbean island you are now i'm going to be looking at the treatment of the sba and i'm going to be just up and down to the bottom as like i said you can feel free to go and access the document, read the document, but I want to provide some summary information here. Now, I want to look at this bit here. It is saying, in light of the foregoing, three board decisions were made. And these are the three board decisions. No changes to be made to the SBA, as the SBA, as defined in the syllabus, would not require any major adjustment as a result of COVID-19. Then they are saying changes to the SBA requirements. That is a reduction in the number of practical assessment. They are also saying in that board meeting that changes to be changes to the approach of the implementation of the SBA. They are looking at that. So what they are saying that based on the time they understand but they can't change these sba while they can reduce the numbers and that would provide some amount of scale or quantity less time so automatically um less sbas in some cases in other cases uh things might be a little different but we are going to be looking at the various subjects offered at the various levels we're not going to be looking in cape looking at cape for this publication but if you think that we should look at cape just send us a comment i will definitely jump into cape all right so let us start here this channel really covers information on biology and hsb but the students who are doing biology and hsb they are usually doing other subjects so we are trying to do it all for those persons who are on and we are asking those persons who are on to share the information that everybody will be in the know nobody will have to complain next year i said that they didn't know and they weren't prepared because we gave a helping hand to get the information out so just let us look at this table and see how best we can interpret what is there and we can move off on the right speed so it is saying here the csec subjects we are looking at that and the SBA requirement and then we are looking at some additional decisions and we are going to go through all of these very quickly all right so for additional maths they say it's a research project for the SBA and they said no adjustment necessary candidates should be able to complete tasks using available technology so that's that for that for agriculture uh, science the single award uh, they say it's an investigative project uh, preparation of cost analysis assessment of practical skills and they are saying here for single award practical skill no change to the number of practical skills to be completed uh, investigative report no change to the two investigated report uh, one crop one animal and then they are saying for the cost analysis no change to the two cost analysis to be implemented for the double award they are saying practical skill no change to to number of practical skills to be completed they are also saying invis, investigative report no change to the two investigative report uh one crop one animal cost analysis no change to the two cost uh, analysis and they are also saying market marketing plan no change to the marketing plan so no change there for agri uh let us look at what is happening for biology though for biology it's an investigative project practical and what is what is expected here is that the number of practical assignment to be reduced to eight 
Now, formerly students would have been uh, required to complete 18, of which 8 would have been marked for CXC. Now, you are just required to do 8. However, remember the syllabus is saying that if you are able to do more than 8, and you can do the amount that is asked for by the syllabus, you should. So, 2. The candidate must conduct at least one practical assessment for each of the 7 compulsory topics as outlined in the syllabus plus one other topic now each skill planning and design observation reporting and recording analysis and interpretation manipulation and measurement should be assessed at least twice now the investigative project remains the same as stipulated in the syllabus where candidates are registered for multiple science, a single investigative project may be submitted. Now, the rules which states that no more than two practical skills should be assessed for any one activity will be relaxed. So formally, uh, only two, two skills could be assessed for an experiment. Now they have relaxed that so you can assess more. Now the rule which states that each skill must be assessed at least two times except for drawing which must be assessed at least one time will not be relaxed. So at least all the skills there must be of course assessed twice and drawing of course one that has not changed and will continue. Now importantly is that measurement and manipulation skill is the only practical skill that may need to be done face to face. So the other skills can be done, of course, online. Let us go down and look at this. Nine, for biology. It is saying teachers should indicate how each lab was conducted, whether it was face to face or virtual, and virtual in the sense that they were using simulation from one of those nice software. A virtual meaning that they were looking at some demonstration or virtual mean that they were looking at some YouTube videos. Now, might I pause here to say that CSET Biology, the cover page, we would have had all the labs for biology online for students and we are going to be putting on the teacher's lab in short order. So you want to go over to CSET Biology, the cover page, go to the playlist that says SBA or labs or experiment and look at the labs that are there so that you will be able to manipulate those that will be given to you by your teacher as soon as we upload those and those should be up by next week now the relevant material should be made available for the on-site moderator to verify as evidence so we will make those videos available we will not remove them until you would have gotten back your cxc result so your moderator will be able to see them as they make their assessment now the caribbean history research project no adjustment necessary candidates should be able to complete all right so chemistry now chemistry is saying that the number of practical assessment to be reduced to eight candidate must conduct at least one practical assessment for each of the eight compulsory topics as listed in the syllabus each skill planning and design observation and you know the whole gamut must be uh, um, of course assessed twice and pretty much most of, most of the things are pretty much the same so i'm just going to be putting it on screen and you can read as you go through and of course pause the video as much as you so desire All right. <laughs> 